So I got back from cardio rehab. I'm doing fantastic. They raised me from 13 minutes, uh, three times a day of taking a walk to twice a day of 20 minutes. So I guess, what is that, 36, 39, 13, 13? I'm not very good at math. <laughs> so it's 39, yeah. Um, and then it's 40. So it doesn't seem like that's a ton more. Of course, I'm walking at work. I went back to work. And how was it? It was strange. It felt weird to go back to work. And, of course, everybody started uh, talking to me and reaching out real easy, like I'm in, like an eggshell going to break and saying, you know, <laughs> don't, don't exert yourself. Be careful. And if you need any help, I'll lift this, I'll lift that, which is great. They're all just being sweet. I love my work family a lot. I really enjoy my work, to be honest with you. There's been a few jobs in my life where I just – absolutely loved it but I do I love my job and um, I'm thankful that they care about me and it's a fostering and very nurturing environment and I'm thankful for that um, so I'm glad to be back I, I had a, a user comment that I was kind of prompted me to make this video asking how it was and they wanted me to post how it was well this this is what I'm doing this for and work was good it's getting me back into a daily rhythm that isn't watching video after video on how to control cholesterol uh, by holistic means because that's literally what I've been doing for two weeks since I'm going to quit the statins. I didn't know I was going to quit the statins. I was actually hesitant about the statins because I had read and seen some not good stuff. Honestly, I didn't. there's nothing good that I can find from statin other than it's been proven to reduce cholesterol, but you, you can reduce cholesterol by your food. Um, Animal foods are pretty much the sole source of exogenous cholesterol. And since I, I was doing a ton of eggs, I was eating more eggs than I cared to admit to anybody. I was also vaping uh, pretty regularly, and I, I lied and told everybody that I wasn't or I quit. And I was vaping hard and uh, drinking about 48 ounces of coffee a day. So the things that I was doing were harming my health, fish, still eating fish. I don't think eating a bun uh, eating fish in and of itself is harmful. I think if you're eating it daily, like a like an excessive amount, two or three servings per day, that's probably, it's for someone with heart disease, which already means that you have uh, an off balance of cholesterol and fat, it's probably not a good idea. I think there's beneficial things to fish in moderation, but I don't need them. Like I can get the omega-3s from chia seeds, flax seeds, and even algae supplements. So I, I don't think that I'm gonna do them simply because I don't need any um, extra fat and cholesterol, even if it's from bundled with a, a healthy source because I have heart disease. If I eliminate my heart disease, which is my goal, I may consider adding fish in small amounts back to my diet. But for now, I'm gonna go fully plant-based, low fat, and eliminate dairy absolutely, completely, no more eggs and uh, see what I can do about getting my cholesterol under control like that. I, uh, after this video, I'm gonna go on my walk and I'm up to, I don't know if I said two 20 minute video, two 20 minute walks a day is what my new homework is. And I don't think that'll be hard. On my walks now, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling pretty energetic and, and that's why she bumped me up. She said that I'm doing great in cardio rehab and she thinks that my, um, heart looks healthy and my uh, blood pressure is raising appropriately and she's given me really a good indicator. I, I think that she thinks I'm doing fantastic and she said that. Um, the biggest concern in my life right now is I've got two boys who I love just about more than anything and both of them go up and down with their personal lives and, and their problems and their struggles and that occupies a lot of my stress. I don't really have stress in my life. My heart attack situation, I'm not even worried about it. Like I literally know what I did bad and I'm going to reverse all of that immediately. I feel good. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a law of attraction, you know, attract positive things into your life kind of person. So I'm, I'm not going to sit here and harp on it every day. I did harp on it for a few days, maybe even the first week, but that's appropriate. I just had a near fatal <laughs> heart attack. So I think that anybody would be shaken for a week. You know, 
painful, which is appropriate, but I'm fine now and I feel stronger and I'm going to make it a thing of the past. I'm going to fix it. And um, so I'm not worried about my heart attack. I am a little worried about my finger, that sagittal band on my ring finger wants to slip a little bit towards the pinky. It's not doing it right now, and, and I'm glad. I don't want it to do it. Thank God it's not doing it right now. Um, I've been doing therapies to it every day. I've got a paraffin wax uh, heating apparatus that I put my hand in, and heat brings healing and blood circulation to the wound. I want the tissues, the soft tissues in there to heal and, and tighten up and get better because playing guitar is the love of my life. You know, other than my family and kids and wife, the things that are appropriate, playing guitar is the zen. It is the, the stress reliever. It is the passion of my life. So I have to have that, which means I've got to take care of my hand. Um, I'm putting TENS unit on it. Mild electrical stimulation helps healing. Um, I'm putting anti-inflammatory gel on it. I'm going to get, I, I talked to my hand surgeon and she's going to have me a uh, sagittal band brace splint built. I'm going to do that Thursday. Um, so I'll take care, I'll rest it in between playing guitar. I haven't played guitar in about a week and a half. I haven't even touched it because I'm worried that I'm going to injure it. I've just been letting it heal. No pressure on it at all. We play a gig this weekend, so it's definitely going to be stressed and put to the test. I hope that I don't have an event and it messes up, but it's been fine. I can make a fist. I can alternate it, and it's not slipping off. So I will keep my hopes up, and this is the only thing I worry about. The heart attack's good. I'm going to be fine. I'm not going to overstress myself. I'm going to watch everything. I'm thinking about getting one of those, I think it's O-U-R-A rings that will keep track of your um, blood pressure and let you know if your heart's distressed or not or too much. It will notify your phone, so I'll get like an alarm go off on my phone. I'm thinking about buying one of those. And uh, I'm not going to worry about all that. My heart will heal over time. I'll, I'll give it the tools and the rest and uh, take care of it as needed. Um, that's about it for this update. I thank you guys for thinking about me. It just amazes me that some people want to actually keep up with me and follow my story and, and my health and stuff, but I'm, I'm thankful that you guys do. I really do appreciate it. Take care.